try to get one back tonight against 34 year old veteran right hander Carlos Carrasco on the mound for the Mets. Yeah, the veteran has all four pitches fastball, slider, cutter, and a curve. We'll mix in a changeup against lefties. And his problem this year, Matt, has been the first inning. Eight starts, four right here at City Field, has given up two first pitches home runs. Crazy. A loud, boisterous crowd last night. Same thing tonight for the series finale. And there's ball four to LeMahieu. As we mentioned, Carrasco's command has been very good despite his first inning struggles. One or fewer walks in all eight of his starts, but he loses the leadoff hitter tonight. Now you open up the hole there for the left-handed hitting Rizzo. The next 3-2, LeMahieu runs again, and it's ball four. Back-to-back -back walks open the game. And Carrasco's first start as a Met with multiple walks. Here comes pitching coach Jeremy Hefner, a very early visit. Judge is really taking considerable time here. Something doesn't look right. Is he having a contact lens issue? The Yankees training staff is about to come out. Something ain't right here, though, man. This is taking a long time. I think we've all gone through, uh, you know, contact lens hiccups in the past. Struck him out. But Judge's status is, is worth, and no pun intended here, it's worth keeping an eye on. He did not look comfortable at all. One out. Runner still on first and second. Standing at 270. Already 25 pitches to start the ball game. Four batters into it. And Stanton shoots that one into the gap in right center field. That's going to do some damage. LeMahieu being waved around to score. Rizzo held it third, and it's 1-0 Yankees. That is the Yankees' first hit in the series with runners in scoring position. They've been 0 for their last 15, dating back to earlier in the week. The fire's still hot with runners at second and third. A run in, one gone for Joey Gallo. And the pitch swung on and hit in the air to left center field. That gets in the run. Cutting over is McNeil. He makes the catch. And for just the second time in his career, it's a sack fly for Joey Gallo. And a wonky throw back into the infield that squirts away. And Stanton advances on the play. And the pitch hit on the ground to third. VR to throw across in time to end the inning. Clark Schmidt yanks Nija. First rounder back in 2017, number 16 overall. Slowed down this year because of an elbow strain. He's got a total of six and a third innings of major league experience. Most of his abbreviated season this year has been spent in the minors. Four stops in the minor leagues this year and making the biggest start of his life here tonight. And Lindor wraps that softly to first base for Rizzo, who'll do it himself. VR to second with one away. Now, here is Conforto with a runner at second and one man out. Conforto, it's at hard left side. That's going to get through. A base hit in the left center field. VR rounds third. He'll score standing up. And the Mets get one back in the bottom of the first. It's now a two to one Yankee lead. Michael Conforto's been going the other way more often lately. And an RBI single there. He drives in his 46th run. So Conforto stays at first. Two gone now for Javi Baez, looking to extend a modest four game hitting streak. That's wrapped to third base and a fair ball. Long throw from Urshela is off line. An infield single for Javi Baez. So second and third, a base hit could give the Mets the lead. The pitch is hit on the ground to first. Rizzo takes it himself to end the inning. So Clark on the hill. And the Yankees have a two to one lead. We hit the bottom of the second inning. And the pitch hit on the ground to Torres. He booted it. So there's an error, another error on Torres. Jonathan VR walked and was plated in the first. He's got Pilar and McCann in scoring position with one gone. He didn't like the first sign from Sanchez. Now he's ready to go to work at 3 2 home. Wanted the breaking ball and struck out VR with it. And that shows you a little bit why the Yankees are so high on this young man, Clark. So with runners at second and third, now a run can't score on an out with two men out. And here is Frankie Lindor. Lindor with a swing and a drive out to right field. Gallo on the move, still on the move. And it's gone! If Francisco's first year as a Met could include a signature moment, we just watched it. And this breaking ball, not the good one that Buster was talking about. A little bit of a cement mixer, overthrew it, a little fatigued. Leadoff walks and leadoff errors will kill a team. Well, the Mets needed that. Well, here is McCann, the right-handed. As I said, I would walk him. I, I wouldn't take the chance to give him another run. Pitch, swung on, high fly to left. 
Stanton goes back. He's on the track and he makes the catch. He had about two or three steps to go to get to the wall. So one on and one out and that'll bring up Jeff McNeil. And McNeil sends that one into the corner in right field. Let's see if they try it with Baez. They're going to give him the stop sign. And the Mets are set up second and third with one gone. Bases loaded with one gone. Three one pitch to McCann is lifted out to deep right. Gallo's on the move. He makes the catch. It's more than enough to tag and score Baez. And the Mets increase their lead to three. Runners lead first and third, two out. Pitch. A ground ball to short. Torres flips to second for the force. Well, I guess it could be worse. Only thing is the Mets added a run, so the Yankees down by three. In the inning, one run, two hits. Here's the 1 0 to Glaber. And the pitch hit in the air to deep left. Back on the wall goes McNeil to the wall. She's gone. It's Glaber Day. Glaber Torres just did a two run home run to left, and he makes it a ball game as the Mets now have a 5 4 lead. 97 miles an hour coming in in the two run Jimmy Jack fastball. Foot down, head down, bomba in the Queens. That will be Francisco Lindor, who's hit a three run homer tonight. Lindor, it's a high drive, left center field. Gardner back, looking up. This one's going to go. Home run. Francisco Lindor has homered again. He has hit two tonight, one from each side of the plate. Lindor taunts his best friend, Urshela, as he rounds the bases. <laughs> He has hit his 16th home run of the year. That was a blast. Just to the left of straightaway center field as the Mets now lead 6-4. to four. Stanton doubled in a run. Simpson has struck out. Into deep left center field and this game is tied. Santa Maria. And look at Stanton taking his sweet time. Oh, he got some chippiness. He's talking to Lindor. Oh, now it's on. Everybody's out on the field. Stanton answering back to Lindor. We have a game. We have a series. Nice. If you're going to talk the talk, you better walk the walk. Oh, man. And they're both doing it, so this is fun. Francisco Lindor has brought his own sense of unity to this game. United everybody to get out of their seats as he approached home plate. And only two Mets in the history have hit three home runs here at home. Oh, oh, oh my oh, gosh. Oh, oh, oh. Did he get another one? Oh. Gallo! Six here in the bottom of the eighth. Just the second ever Mets shortstop to enjoy a three homer game. And he takes his curtain call right now. Time run in scoring position. Go ahead, run on base for Gardner. Diaz ready, his pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Gardner strikes out on a slider. Two outs in the ninth. And here comes John Carlos Stanton. Well, you can't draw this up any better. A jam shot pop up. Why not Lindor putting the finishing touches on a memorable night, wrapping up the Subway Series.